Hello students, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to discuss operating system starvation topic. Along with the introduction to starvation, I will share with you some reasons why starvation like problems occurs in operating system and along with this I will tell you some methods that help us to control starvation problems in any type of operating system. Along with all these things, we will discuss some practice MCQs that will help you score good marks in your examination. So let's start the session. So here is the definition that says starvation is a problem of resource management so first of all you should note that starvation is nothing but it is a problem that is related to resource management okay where in the operating system the process does not have resources let's say process p1 wants resource r1 process p2 wants resource r2 but in operating system these processes does not have these resources why because it is being used by some other process at the same time let's say process p3 is using resource r1 and process p4 is using resource r4 that's why process p1 and p2 are not able to get the resources r1 and r2 simultaneously this problem is called starvation in operating system this problem occurs mainly in priority based scheduling algorithm. So remember one point students whenever we talk about starvation that means we are directly or indirectly talking about priority of the processes. Starvation is always related to priority of the processes. In simple terms we can say that starvation happens if, if a process or if a method is indefinitely indefinitely delayed let's take an example here so starvation is a problem that occurs when low priority processes when low priority processes get jammed get jammed for a unspecified unspecified time as the high priority processes keep executing so let's take an example first let's say let's say this is my process p1 process p1 has the highest priority okay then we have process p2 process p3 process let's say p5 okay so here is process p1 with the highest priority as i have told you starvation is a problem that occurs when low priority processes all these are low priority processes and the lowest priority 5 uh, p5 has the lowest priority here okay it occurs when low priority processes get jammed for an unspecified time as the higher priority processes keep executing okay that means key we have one resource cpu all these processes wants to execute all these processes wants to access this particular resource cpu okay process p1 is using cpu then it's time for process P to get the CPU. But in between process P1 and P2, process P6 enter that has the higher priority than process P2. So, in this case, mein, process P2 ko wait karna padega. Now, process P6 ka execution time almost complete ho chuka tha. Then again, new process enters that is process P8 that again has the higher priority than process P2. So, process P ko again, P2 ko again wait karna padega. So, at that particular point of time, we can say that all these three processes are facing the problem that is called starvation. A steady stream of higher priority methods will stop a low priority processes from ever obtaining the process from ever obtaining the resource right so this is how you can 
you can write in your examination with the help of this example okay so this problem always occurs in priority based scheduling algorithm because here the processes with higher priority getting the cpu or getting any resource first but the processes with lower priority have to wait for infinite period of time कब तक उनको वेट करना पड़ेगा दैट इज नॉट क्लियरली डिफाइंड हियर बिकॉज लेट से प्रोसेस पी फाइव प्रोसेस पी फाइव का टाइम आने वाला है टू एक्सेस दी सी पी यू टू एक्सेस द रिसोर्स बट इमिडिएटली इन बिटवीन हायर प्रायोरिटी प्रोसेस एंटर्स इन द क्यू सो आपको वापस से वेट करना पड़ेगा नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वी हैव सम Next, we have some measures that will help you to handle the starvation. So, first measure could be the resource allocation will be taken by freelance manager to ensure even distribution. So, a good distribution. So, a good distribution of time, as well as good distribution of resources, should be managed to avoid starvation-like problems. now we have a next point that is what causes starvation okay what causes starvation so first point you should note in starvation a process with low priority process with low priority might wait forever might wait forever if the process with higher priority uses a processor constantly okay second reason may be because low priority processes are not directly interacting with resources right now that may cause the deadlock now here is one more point that is what is the difference between starvation and deadlock bahut se students ko iske beech mein confusion rehta hai ki deadlock aur starvation mein what is clearly the differences so remember one point starvation is nothing but it is called lived stock okay and deadlock is called the circular wait this is the major difference second difference is starvation occurs when a process requires a resource when process requires a resource for execution that it is never allotted okay and in case of deadlock it occurs when two or more processes when two or more processes need some resource that is complete resource to complete the execution and this particular resource is currently locked by or currently holded by another process p1 that is called deadlock okay so this is the important difference between these two okay now students third point we have is starvation is uh, precisely also known as fail fail safe method known as fail safe method that it is that is it prevents deadlock temporarily it prevents deadlock temporarily but it affects the system in general okay so that's why it is called fail safe method now we have various methods that that will help you in handling the starvation in operating system so first method could be the allocation of resources by cpu the allocation of resources by cpu should be taken care of by a freelance manager as i have told you this work should be done by freelance manager to ensure that there is an event distribution of the resources so that low priority processes ko infinitely wait na karna pade second method uh, could be random choice of process method random choice of process method 
it should be avoided due to which starvation occurs so if we control this method it will automatically handle it will automatically control the starvation next is aging criteria of processes should be used aging criteria of processes should be taken into consideration or should be used while resource allocation to avoid the starvation fourth method uh, can be scheduling algorithm scheduling algorithm or we can say that time sharing should be there time sharing should be there like in in case of uh, round robin in case of round robin scheduling algorithm we always give every process some time quantum ठीक है एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस टाइम क्वांटम किसी भी प्रोसेस को इनफाइनाइटली वेट नहीं करना होता है सो टाइम शेयरिंग और टाइम क्वांटम दैट इज लाइक राउंड रॉबिन शेड्यूलिंग एल्गोरिदम शुड बी यूज्ड इन केस ऑफ इन केस ऑफ प्रोसेस एलोकेशन रिसोर्स एलोकेशन इफ यू वांट टू हैंडल द स्टारवेशन नेक्स्ट वी हैव इज मल्टी लेवल फीडबैक क्यू मल्टी लेवल फीडबैक Q. It can also be used for avoiding starvation in the operating system. So I hope students, everything is clear till now. Next, we have one question: Which of the following scheduling algorithms may cause starvation? So first come first serve, round robin, priority, shortest process next, shortest remaining time first. Okay. So as you can see, starvation can be. Uh, a problem in priority scheduling in shortest in shortest remaining time no it is a problem in priority scheduling first <clears throat> in case of uh, in case of uh, shortest process next and shortest remaining time first okay so correct answer here you will have is c d and e only So thank you so much and i wish you all the very best